Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, nestled among rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a lonely old woodcarver named Geppetto. Despite his skilled craftsmanship, Geppetto felt a void in his heart, longing for companionship. One day as he was carving a block of wood into a puppet, he wished upon a star for the puppet to become a real boy. Little did he know, his wish would soon come true. As Geppetto delicately carved away at the wood, shaping it into the form of a young boy, a magical energy infused the puppet, and it came to life with a blink of its painted eyes. Geppetto couldn't believe his eyes as the puppet stood up, stretching its limbs and speaking in a voice filled with wonder. I'm alive! The puppet exclaimed, looking around with wide eyes. Geppetto's heart swelled with joy as he embraced the puppet, whom he named Pinocchio. Overjoyed with the prospect of having a son, Geppetto showered Pinocchio with love and affection, teaching him about the world and instilling in him values of honesty and kindness. However, despite Geppetto's teachings, Pinocchio's curious nature often led him astray. He found himself drawn to the allure of adventure and excitement, heedless of the consequences of his actions. One day enticed by the promise of fame and fortune, Pinocchio embarked on a journey to join a traveling circus, leaving Geppetto behind. In the circus, Pinocchio found himself dazzled by the bright lights and applause of the audience. Yet, as he performed daring feats on the high wire, he couldn't shake the feeling of emptiness gnawing at his wooden heart. He longed for the warmth and love of his father, realizing that no amount of fame or applause could replace the bond they shared. Haunted by guilt and remorse, Pinocchio decided to return home to Geppetto, seeking forgiveness for his recklessness. Along the way, he encountered a series of trials and challenges, including temptations and deceitful characters who sought to lead him astray. Yet, through his journey, Pinocchio learned valuable lessons about honesty, integrity, and the true meaning of family. Finally, weary but wiser, Pinocchio arrived back at Geppetto's workshop, where he was welcomed with open arms. Tears of joy streamed down Geppetto's face as he embraced his son, realizing that true happiness resided not in external pursuits, but in the love and companionship they shared. From that day forth, Pinocchio remained by Geppetto's side, cherishing each moment they spent together and vowing to always uphold the values his father had taught him. And as they worked together in the workshop, carving wooden toys for the children of the village, their bond grew stronger with each passing day, a testament to the enduring power of love and redemption.